day, the fire threat and Lauren, those winds just sucks the moisture out of the landscape. Oh, totally. And it's so warm outside in many areas. So we are gusty across Colorado right now, really all the way from Sterling through Greeley, all the way down towards Durango and Cortez. You'll find wind about 25 to close to 50 miles an hour. Just you can see by the dark color contours here how strong that wind is. As we head into the Denver area, we were certainly windy today as well. Gusts up to 30 miles an hour right now in Aurora, 22 mile an hour winds right now in downtown Denver, 26 mile per hour winds in Lakewood. So it's uh, definitely ripping across the front range as well. And it's not going to change much as we head into uh, the later part of this week too. So looking at our red flag warning, all of southeastern Colorado into southwestern Colorado under a red flag warning either through 7 o'clock tonight for the eastern side of the state or 10 o'clock for the western side. So again, that fire danger extremely high with the gusty wind and low humidity and of course the heat and dry vegetation that we have as well. Now looking ahead to Tuesday, we have a red flag warning in place for parts of the foothills. Once again, downtown Denver not included in this or anywhere to the north, but we will still be windy. So still watch out. Even if you're not under the red flag warning, it is warm and windy across the state. You just might not meet the humidity threshold for the red flag warning. So this is on place on Tuesday, in place on Tuesday. And that is because we have this uh, elevated fire risk for parts of the front range and of that down in the southern part of the state, we're in that critical level. So we have high fire danger for many parts of the state. That's why we have that next red flag warning. And then looking ahead to Wednesday, this is going to be the worst day of the week in terms of the fire danger. So I want to prepare you now so you can make any plans for this from 11 a.m. through 9 p.m. We have uh, fire weather watch. This will turn into a red flag warning for the foothills, the Denver area, all of the I-25 corridor out toward the eastern plains, parts of the high country, and then down into southwestern Colorado. We will be extremely windy, really warm, possible record-breaking temperatures across many areas. And of course, we know how dry we've been. And then several days of wind leading into this means we're even drier. So again, just be extra prepared and extra cautious outside. Right now, it's 70 in Denver, 70 in Boulder, 96 though in Lamar, 84 in Burlington, 50s, 60s in the high country, 50s, 60s off to the west. We have 58 from our weather watcher, Bob Rising in Estes Park. And checking in with our temperatures tonight, 40 in Denver, upper 30s in northern Colorado, 50s, 40s in the southeast, 30s in the high country. Tomorrow we jump up a bit, 80 in Denver. We have 75 as we head towards Boulder, 90s still in the southeast, high country 60s, 70s across the front range tomorrow, 81 here downtown, 80 at the airport in Aurora, 78 in Brighton, 75 in Loveland, Fort Collins and Longmont, and also for Golden. And we have uh, 80 for Castle Rock. For your extended forecast, we're looking at 89 on Wednesday. That's the bad day. Really watch out for Wednesday. We're looking at uh, fire danger with record heat potentially or awfully close to it. Then we have the front that will pass through that knocks us down to 76 on Thursday. Isolated storms are possible. After that, it's a little calmer. It's a little cooler around here, but still on the dry side. All right. Thank you, Lauren. The Children's Diabetes Foundation.